So share with our audience one book. Give us one book that you would recommend reading. Well, I think this goes to creative people, whether you're a writer or whoever, but the creative gene in us, right? And this book would be uh, The Mission of Art by Alex Gray. And uh, I don't know, you've seen his work because if you've ever seen a yoga poster somewhere, his work is always being used. It's, it's where you see transparent bodies with sort of fire coming off them and skeletons and nervous systems and all this like the electrical human being. Uh, that's, so he's a real famous, uh, fine visionary artist, Alex Gray. Now the book, uh, The Mission of Art, what he does is he goes through history and he speaks to sort of the power of what art is capable of and the power of the individual creator and how he can influence time and history and you know culture and uh and to me that was like profoundly effective book because it helps you take your craft into a more sort of cosmic you know cosmic and cultural space where maybe you you know you can have, make a difference and here's what I, I believe humanity means well i think there's all kinds of sabotage to humanity that lives on our planet daily but in general and having traveled the world i really believe in people and I think, you know, given the mean for the not, you know, forced to starve for their meals and stuff, they, they would rather have a nicer time than not. They'd rather be better to other people than not. And this book really shed light on the possible powers of the artist through history. And I think that's really important. And I've turned a number of people, young people onto it. And they, you know, they really got a lot out of it. So that's to the creative community, I'd say the mission of art. That's great. I'll have to read that book. I, I you know, I, from the mission of it and the, and the synopsis you shared about it, it's it's no wonder why we don't have more art in schools, you know? Yeah. Well, it's it's a problem because it's critical thinking. Yeah. They don't yeah. want that. They don't you know, want critical that. Critical thinking has been, you know, having talked to people in Washington about the trends of the educational system, they don't want that. You know, they, you get people that, you know, they don't want you going to war if you do, if you have populations that are actually thinking about this. They want you to be distracted by Coca-Cola and sports. And just right. do, do what the hell you're told and support whoever we want you to bomb. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's pretty much you know, the case. But where is the future story game with story character? And historically, when people have said, our game's art, and they ask these people like Siskel and Ebert, you know, Roger <laughs> Ebert, and he's going, games aren't art. It's like, I would de- – now, he's not here, and I don't want to slam uh, him. I was going to say. You know, <laughs> someone just passed on. But, you know. It's a good thing he was interviewing the wrong people or they debated the wrong people who didn't even know what fucking art is, right, mm. and what its mission on this landscape is. And so if you're debating people that make games that aren't and they're going, oh, no, it's an art form, well, of course, Roger Ebert is going to walk away looking like a genius. But the fact is when it comes to games, he didn't know what he was talking about, right? That's a fact. He did not know. It's like he looked at three films – and said, these aren't art, and then he judged all films by that standard. So it's kind of a superficial, ignorant argument that people would say, oh, he's winning and proving that games aren't art. Every time I saw that, I saw it, found it so offensive right, to believe that even people in our own industry can't argue for what really makes art. And the mm-hmm. fact is, most games are not. Because what is art? And, you know, that's its whole thing. You know, I believe it's the mission of art as defined by people like Alex Gray in his mm-hmm. book, Mission of Art. Art is about opening your mind. It's about giving you a different way to see the, perceive the world around you. It offers you nutrients and in intellectual respect different from just being pretty pictures. You yeah, know, it's, it's a, cha- it's a challenge. It's a, it's, a direct, you know, it's a direct challenge to people. That's what, exactly. art, that's what art is. It art isn't just churning something out exactly. that's, that looks beautiful. Exactly. And I would debate anyone, anywhere on the merits of art with the work that we've done. Yeah. Because you, you, you're not going to, you're not going to dismiss it because it's coming from the same places that great. I'm not saying we're great, but it's coming from the same places that inspired me, the truly artistic films. And I don't mean art house films. I mean, apocalypse now, you know, yeah. Stanley Kubrick real where art meets uh, time civilization relevancy and inspiration and insight for an audience. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if you're making games that look pretty, that doesn't mean they're art. So as I was looking at this possibility of how do we merge more as sort of the, the intent of art, which is a great book. It's called The Mission of Art by a guy named Alex Gray, which is really about how has art changed civilization through the ages and why. These are things that it also inspired me. 